What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J, and welcome to the Halloween and Christmas Royal Rumble. Are you kidding me? I want to send out a huge shout out to Jer Dog, who has been asking for this one, man. Holy smokes, he's been asking for it for a while. And we are going to deliver right here, right now. So in this video, you're going to see... You're going to see some Halloween characters, and you're going to see some Christmas characters, and they are going to all lock horns together inside one ring, this beautiful Halloween Havoc downloaded arena, and the winner is going to go to the Champions Rumble. I thought, you know, why not do a Halloween arena since Halloween is soon approaching, brother? Holy smokes. What are you going to be for Halloween? Let me know in the comments, but let's see who's coming in. I am going to be kicking back, relaxing in the booth as look who's coming in at one, Clark Griswold. Oh my gosh. And if you're unsure about Clark Griswold, man, you've been living in a closet, but this is Chevy Chase from the famous National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation as he's coming in at one, representing Christmas. And National Lampoons, man, just so you guys know, that's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Came out in 1989, and Clark Griswold, all he wanted was the perfect Christmas for his family. And, man, he tried to do that by decorating his house, almost short-circuiting the neighborhood with all the lights that he put on his house, to wanting that perfect swimming pool and trying to get a raise at his job, man. <laughs> that movie... I show it every year in the Ricky J household. My family gets so sick and tired of it because by the end of the Christmas season, man, it's probably on like 20 times. And I can't believe that Griswold is rolling in at one. Let's see if Griswold can go coast to coast. Can Chevy Chase do it? Can he go all the way? We'll soon see, brother. And sisters out there, look at this. Oh, but from the Christmas theme, what is this? No way! It's Frankenstein! And I gotta tell ya, this has to be the biggest challenge ever for Clark Griswold. You know, I got a side uh, story to tell you, man. I'm filled with stories. I uh, took my family to Niagara Falls, Ontario, and they have a thing called Clifton Hill where you can go on all these rides. So um, I have uh, two young daughters, and... <laughs> There's a thing called the House of Frankenstein. And my wife's like, you know what? I'm going to do a little shopping. You take the girls. And I took them through the House of Frankenstein. And I didn't realize that it was like a super scary haunted house. They freaked out. And the worst part about it was when we went through, I thought it was going to be introduction to like the Frankenstein family, you know? But uh, it was more than that. So the worst part was we went halfway through this house of frankenstein and then the girls wanted to go back and they're like daddy let's go back and you know how it is man in a haunted house there's no turning back so i picked them both up, both up and sprinted right to the exit uh, i was pretty bad man i was in the doghouse for a couple hours but anyway who cares about that oh big slam by frankenstein as he's going right after griswold and the thing with griswold he's all about christmas he's a lover not a fighter and you know that jersey that he has on, that is such a popular jersey. I got a couple of buddies that wear that jersey for Christmas parties. When you, we have sweater, uh, what are they, Christmas sweater parties? They wear the Griswold hockey jersey. And how about this? Coming in to save Griswold, it's his cousin. Cousin Eddie, look at this, Cousin Eddie, he's from National Lampoons. And right away, Eddie's losing his mind. He's going after the cuz. Oh, they should be working together against Frankenstein. This is what I was saying, man. In this game, moving forward, they got to put together alliances. Because it would be so cool to see Clark and Cousin Eddie team up against Frankenstein. But it is every man for himself. Oh, here comes Kruger. Oh, Freddy Krueger. You know, growing up, a lot of people were scared of Freddy Krueger. For Halloween, I dressed up as Freddy Krueger in like 1993. <laughs> One, two, he's after you. Three, four, you better lock your door. Oh my gosh, man. You remember that song? Kruger. Watching Freddy Kruger now, it's kind of humorous. But back in the day, man, you'd lose sleep. Oh, look at Griswold. Take it to the skies. Griswold's not known for his athleticism, but 
You got oh, you got to hand it to him. But him and Cousin Eddie are looking for a way out, but Griswold's giving it his all. Well, here comes Macaulay Culkin. Oh my gosh, and I'm dating myself. Oh boy, I'm dating myself. My first ever date was uh, <laughs> going out to watch Home Alone. Can you believe that? Man, I'm old. But anyway, Macaulay Culkin, this is not Kevin McAllister. This is a grown up Macaulay Culkin. Holy cow. And I want to say on a side note, WWE 2K22, um, man, I'm not to mean, not to be negative, but they had better downloaded characters because the game was fresh. Here comes Fulci. Here, here, this is a zombie, um, but the game was fresh and then people put more of an effort. Now in WWE 2K23, a lot of the creators aren't going back and creating what they did in WWE 2K22. My suggestion to 2K and uh, I doubt they'll ever watch this, man. But is to move forward the creations from the previous game. That way we still have it. You could build on the library and not reset. That's my thing. Is to come up with a plan to just move them over from the next game, you know? Here comes Harry Lime. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is Joe Pesci. Remember the guys that tried to... Tried to break into McAllister's house. And he faked pretending to be a cop. And look at this. Kevin McAllister is getting his payback. Oh, no. There he goes. What a right hand by Macaulay Culkin. But Frankenstein breaks things up. You know what's so funny? I was telling this to a buddy of mine. If you didn't know anything about this game you and you wa walked into this video right now, you would be like, what am I watching? <laughs> Here's Ghostface. Wow, Ghostface rolling in at eight. And Ghostface, man, he was he was scary back in the day. Ghostface, Scream from the Scream series. Now I tell you, man, Ghostface is not a scary character in my eye. The paranormal activity stuff does scare me, though, I gotta admit. But I have a love for Christmas, but man, I have a love for Halloween. Growing up, I was terrified of all things Halloween and then as I got older I just fell in love with like the whole theme um, loved haunted houses loved going through them and then I had a buddy by the name of Andrew we would go on haunted house hunts and look for the best haunted house in the city of Toronto and they would have great pop-up haunted houses and uh, for my stag uh, <laughs> part of the weekend was to try to explore as many haunted houses as possible so we um, hit up like 10 haunted houses, man. It was awesome. But anyway, no, no, Griswold's done. But yeah, if you didn't know me, you would never know my love for Halloween. I love it, man. And you'll see it on this channel. When October hits, things are going to change. You're going to see some uh, Halloween-based uh, <laughs> theme videos, that's for sure. <laughs> but right now, I'm telling you, you got the, the Halloween team seems to be dominating Team Christmas here as Freddy Krueger trying to go after Ghostface. And look at that zombie with a nice technical slam. Oh, and then he gave him like a little headbutt moving forward. Whose signature move is that? That looks very familiar. Oh, Joe Pesci and a heap of trouble. But you know who's holding his own? Is Look at that. Kevin McAllister shaking what his mama gave him. He is not afraid. And watching Home Alone, that's another movie. You know what's crazy? Here comes Marv, the other guy that was trying to go after Macaulay Culkin's house. Look at this. Marv and Harry. But um, my wife's favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. So uh, we do watch that as well. It's a great, great movie. Oh. Another great Christmas movie is uh, Die Hard. And I know a lot of people say, that's not a Christmas movie. Oh, you watch it, brother. You watch it and you'll know that it is definitely a Christmas movie in my book. But right now, Ghostface is a goner. Ghostface is done. And oh, cousin, cousin Eddie is still in there. Cousin Eddie's a tough chicken, brother. Let's be, let's be honest. This guy's tough. Look at him. You know you're a tough guy if you can uh, parade around in your undies there. Look at him. He's going right after. Oh, sweet chin music. He's done. What a job, Marv, <laughs> Cousin Eddie.
Oh, look at they're going out together. How fitting is this? That these two bozos are going out together, are they? Oh, not quite yet. Wow. I'm telling you, it looks like Macaulay Culkin, Kevin McAllister. Oh, he's out. They're all three of them are out at the same time. How fitting is that? Looks like he's ready for Dancing with the Stars. Wow, quick eliminations here. Two, one. Undead Brock Lesnar. Wow, I can't wait to see this character. Undead Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has been fed the theme of Halloween. Look at those tattoos. It's so cool how his tattoos are so bright and vibrant. Because he's going right after Cousin Eddie. If I'm in Cousin Eddie's shoes, man, I got to break away. There you go, Cousin Eddie. You got to break away. Because right now, how about this? The Halloween crew has taken out everybody but Cousin Eddie. And here comes Frosty the Snowman. You know what's an, what I wanted to tell you about the creation? So in the WWE 2K22, um, you were able to get Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's not in this. But luckily we have... And watching Frosty the Snowman from back in the day, you know, the cartoon movie, I would always cry at the end. Because, spoiler alert, he melts when spring arrives. I used to hate spring because I'm like, spring killed Frosty, brother. If it was only winter forever, Frosty would survive. He needs um, he needs the Elsa magic potion to live throughout all, all four seasons, like Olaf. Here comes Jeepers Creepers. This guy's scary, man. Jeepers Creepers. Holy smokes. You just see the, the intensity of the Halloween team. Oh, there goes there goes Kruger. The intensity's at another level. Look at look at Frankenstein. Man, I'll never forget I'll never forgive you, Frankenstein, for making the house of Frankenstein in Niagara Falls look like it's inviting. Oh, and Krampus. <laughs> Do you guys know who Krampus is? <laughs> this guy, man. Krampus. He's a horned anthropomorphic figure in Central and Eastern Alpine folklore of Europe. So what happen what happens is that during the Advent season, uh, this Krampus guy, he would scare children who would misbehave and not listen to their parents. <laughs> so like in North America, kids are afraid that, you know, Santa is going to show up with a bag of coal. Um, in Europe, <laughs> they're scared that Krampus is going to come and torture you. <laughs> it's so funny nowadays, man. I love um, barbecuing and I want to get a smoker man, um, for our backyard and... If Santa, if you're listening, if you want to send me a bag of coals, man, that'll really help me with the with the with the smoker. So send it away. Anyway, here comes Chucky. Chucky rolling in, and you know what the you know, um, Chucky reminds me of. Look at this. Is he get? Oh, um, I took my girls, and again, this is so bad because I think I'm scarring my children. It's so bad, but um, they wanted to go to the Halloween store. There's a pop-up Halloween store just nearby, and. Uh, after I took them to Montana's, I like taking them out for dinner. Honestly, at least once every two weeks we go out. And it's family's important, brother. Come on. But um, after, there goes Krampus. After they wanted to go to this pop-up Halloween store. And I didn't know that when you walked in, they had all these like animated pop-up characters. And they had one where Chucky was just standing there. And then you walk by him and he, he starts screaming at you and flashes his arms up and down. And it totally scared them, man. We had to exit the building. Oh, there goes that zombie. It was so funny. They left the, the, the store, cried outside, and then they said, Daddy, I want to go back. And I'm like, what? You were just screaming. And then they said, we like it. And then I looked at the wife, and I'm like, you know what? See, that House of Frankenstein experience really toughened them up. <laughs> Let's go back into the Halloween store. <laughs> but anyway... My wife always tells me, remember who you're with. You're not with your boys, Ricky. You're with your girls. But anyway, brother, let's get back to the action. The Creep Show. Who is this? The Creep Show. What? That's the Big Show. Zombie version of the Big Show. Going up against the undead Brock Lesnar. Oh, my goodness. 
And last year during Halloween, I'm just going off, brother. That's how it goes. Um, but last year during uh, October, I did a Brocktober theme. And a lot of you guys really enjoyed that. So let me know if you want to see another uh, series of funny videos featuring Brock Lesnar. Here comes Jack Frost. Jack Frost at 16. So um, I had Brock Lesnar in MMA games. I had Brock Lesnar in Grand Theft Auto doing crazy things. I had him jumping out, out of a helicopter. It was pretty amazing. Oh, there goes Chucky. So yeah, let me know if you want to see some little Brocktober or for October if you want to see just like scary themed videos to get in on the uh, whole season of Halloween. On another note, I couldn't put Michael Jackson Thriller. He's in WWE 2K22, but he wasn't in this. That's okay. Oh, look at this. Wow. And Cousin Eddie, man. Still in there. Hanging with the scary dudes. Not intimidated whatsoever. Oh, he's got to watch out for Undead Lesnar. Oh, nice job. Getting off that greasy back. He's got to watch out for Frosty. Look at Frosty showing those snowy muscles. Oh, but Cousin Eddie didn't like it. When I watched National Lampoons, I didn't really like Cousin Eddie. I felt like when he came in, it ruined the movie. Um, let me know if you agree with that. But after watching it a billion times, like I don't mind him. But when I was younger, I'm like, every time that Cousin Eddie came into the movie, I felt like it ruined everything. Ili Miliki Maka. But anyway, that's the song. Here comes Leatherface. Leatherface coming in. And shout out to all you people that play Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A lot of people say I should download it, but um, I really enjoy watching a guy by the name of Vanilla Beast. He uh, plays it quite a bit, and I enjoy watching, enjoy the game through his eyes or through his controls. You know what I mean? But let me know if you play that, because Leatherface is in here, and he's in that game. Here we go. Are we going to see the end of Frankenstein? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Jeepers Creepers, does he have that strength? Leatherface doesn't see him to help out. You got Frosty picking up the big man. Oh, oh. Wait, here comes, the, wait, Jack, when did Jack Frost come in? Oh my gosh, Jack Frost. How about that? My parents would always, my parents are the, the type of people that always tried to make sure that we were overdressed when it came to winter. When it hit fall, when we went Halloween trick-or-treating, we always had to wear costumes and then wear a massive winter coat over top of it. It was so bad. But look at this. Look at this. Cousin Eddie. Oh, no. It's done. But I remember my mom would always say, Ricky, put your winter coat on. I'm like, why? And then she goes, oh, man, winter's around the corner. I remember once leaving the house and uh, hanging out in the driveway and then <laughs> going down the road. I came back. I'm like, Ma, Ma. And she's like, where did you go? I'm like, you said old man Winter's around the corner, but I didn't see him. And she goes, you have a lot to learn. You have a lot to learn. It's a figure of speech. Put your <laughs> winter coat on. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. Fun times growing up. Holy cow. I got to tell you, man. I'm old, brother. I always say, not in my 20s, not in my 30s. But uh, I just love my childhood so much that I could sit here and talk about it every single day. I could do a podcast of things that I've done. Oh, my gosh. You don't want to know. The good, the bad, the ugly. But anyway, back to the action. Jack Frost and Frosty are the only Christmas guys. Snow Miser. As we are at 18... And Jeepers Creepers could be done. Look at Snow Miser. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful boots. <laughs> and somebody asked me, man, my favorite time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. As much as I love Halloween, Christmas is my favorite, brother. I love it. Growing up, you know, we didn't have very much. And now, being a papa... I do whatever it takes to make sure that my kids have everything they have and more. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about gifts. I'm talking about the love of Christmas. 
And hopefully you guys bring that to your family. You don't need money. You need time. That's what I always say. It's not, you don't have to have a lot of money to make Christmas special. You have to have time and love and care. You know what I mean? Oh, Jack Frost could get that elimination. So my second favorite's Halloween. So it's like my two favorite seasons, right? Oh, look at this. The big man. Oh, the freak show. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, way to go. Miser stays in there. St. Nicholas is in there. Jolly old St. Nick. Look at that beautiful hair. I'm telling you, the flow of the hair of Jolly old St. Nick is awesome. What conditioner is this guy using? <laughs> oh, no. Jeepers Creepers had a great run, man. Let's be honest. He had a great run. But the undead Brock Lesnar is going after the creep show. And I'm telling you, you know what? If I'm in uh, Frosty's corner, I would tell him, don't overdo it, man. Don't want to don't want to sweat too much. Don't want to sweat as Jack Frost and Snow Miser. Oh, nice job there by Snow Miser. As I'm telling you now, if you're a Christmas fan here, they've now started to populate their guys in here. And now for the first time, we're seeing the Halloween crew dwindle down in population here. Oh, there goes Leatherface. And now you got the creep show. And the undead Brock. And then the rest is filled with Christmas goodness. Oh. There goes Jack Frost getting thrown out like a snowflake, brother. Here comes Jason. Jason. Oh my gosh, big man Jason. Wow, he's looking big. He's dwarfing the undead Lesnar. And right away, is he gonna get rid of him? Right, at, right from the get-go here, right out of the gate. Could he be done? Looks like he's struggling a little bit, but he's full of energy, full of life. Oh, nice job by Brock. And look at Brock coming in through that top rope, like Andre the Giant. Did King Kong Bundy go over the top rope? King Kong Bundy was big, but he wasn't very tall. But anyway, let's get back to the action here. Let's get back to the action. Jack Frost. Jack Skellington. Representing Halloween. Sorry, no. Representing Christmas. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. How about this? Skellington. Jack Skellington. The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's so funny. It's like that theme. It's like a Halloween theme, but it's... Ah, he's Living Skeleton, who is the Pumpkin King of Halloween Town. I guess it's a... It, no, it's a Halloween movie. A fantasy world based solely on the Halloween holiday. The Nightmare Before Christmas. And here comes... Speaking of Christmas... Oh my gosh, John McClane from Die Hard. How about this? St. Nick and the Undead. Oh, they don't get it. Don't tell me Frosty's going to be done. No, Frosty's still alive. That snow was slushy. And even though McClane used that headbutt technique to take him out, he couldn't do it. Wow. Frosty's got to be careful, though. The longer he sweats, the more he melts. The corn cob pipe and a button nose. <laughs> How's the song go? Uh, oh my gosh, man. That is just funny. Oh, the corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal, brother. Frosty the snowman. Putting together a great showing here. As we got two, four, I think we, I think we got eight guys in here, so that's why the clock's not going. Snow Miser, man, undersized, still in there. How about that? Look at Frosty. Is he gonna eliminate Jason? Is he gonna eliminate Jason? Well, and let me know um, if you think Jack Skellington is a representation of Halloween or Christmas. I say Halloween. Even though the title is Nightmare Before Christmas. 
But right now, what we see here, holy jolly old Saint Nick, too many uh, gingerbread gingerbread men consumed. He looks like he's exhausted, but he's getting right up. The big man is getting up. No, McLean in the bare feet, still alive. He is still alive. Oh, nice shot to the bread basket by McLean, but McLean's struggling to stay in here. A Saint Nick, oh, with this. That was a nasty boot. Right to the kisser. A Frosty, and now, <laughs> look at McLean. Everybody's picking on McLean here. Oh, what a, what a devastating maneuver that was. And now, Saint Nick, he's looking for a dancing partner. He's going after the undead Brock Lesnar. And now, oh, creep show. Couldn't quite pick up Slushy Frosty. And now, oh, what was Frosty doing? Man, Jason would have been done there. He, Let's be honest, he would have been done. Oh, nice recovery there by Frosty. <laughs> Is he going to get St. Nick here? This would be huge. Oh, doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. And now Snow Miser working together with the creep show. <laughs> That is way too funny. That is way too funny. As now, oh boy. Oh boy, look at Frosty doing it with a smile on his face. Has eliminated Undead Brock. And now, oh, St. Nick. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm loving Frosty the Snowman. Doing things with a smile on his face. This guy is looking to be, so far, the MVP of this Royal Rumble, brother. Kicking butt and taking names. Oh, there goes St. Nick. I'm telling you, you got to be careful with Jason. He's a problem, brother. He's got to be the favorite right now. But Creepshow, Creepshow's doing some really good things as well. He absolutely is. And now, Jason... Wow, beautiful. He wound up for that slam, that's for sure. <laughs> but Frosty's in the thick of things. Spinning around and down. Jason's in a stunned state. <laughs> Look at this. Jack. Oh, Skellington. Fighting back, but you got Frosty. You know what? Even though he's nice, man, this guy can fight. This snowman can fight, brother. Billy the Puppet. And this is from Saw, right? Man, I used to go to Halloween parties and see people dressed up as this guy. It totally freaked me out. Wow, he's tiny, eh? This little puppet's small and McLean going right after him. As we are nearing the tail end of this rumble. Hope you guys are enjoying this, man. Christmas and Halloween. Oh, big clothesline. Here we go. And again, huge shout outs to Jerdog for the idea, man. Much love to you. It's a great idea. Fantastic. Here comes Buddy the Elf. The Elf. We got an elf in the building. Elf on a shelf. Oh, nice counter elbow by the Elf. And now throwing him down. As I can't believe he had the strength to lift up a guy by... The name of Jason. I'm telling you, Jason needs to be tested here. He looks like he's on some illegal substances. <laughs> he's on the juice. A nice job with the clothesline there on Creep Show. And now Snow Miser to the corner. Whoa, look at that athletic ability. What athletic ability by the elf. And there goes Skellington. Done. Like dinner. Because now the countdown should be going on. The countdown should be hitting. As look at this. I cannot believe what we're seeing here with Billy the Puppet running around, kicking butt. Doesn't matter about size, but he's met his size right there with Snow Miser. Snow Miser has got to be careful, though, because lingering around against those tall trees, man, it's going to get him eliminated. As he is trying his best to do what he's got to do to stay inside this Royal Rumble. Let's be honest. But now he's going after the Creep Show. 
Oh! He <laughs> took off, and that was a crash landing. Wow, what a clothesline there by Billy the Puppet. And now here comes the countdown. Who could it be? Who's left? Who is left? Three, two, one. Oh, there goes McLean. Here comes the Grinch. <laughs> oh, I love that movie, man. Jim Carrey. You know, apparently it's rated PG-13. And uh, I tell you, man, I don't know, man. It should be rated G. What's wrong with that movie? <laughs> but anyway, back to the action. The Elf could be done. As right now, if we're counting here, it's three Halloween guys, four Christmas guys. And um, it's kind of cool to see, like, the Grinch on the Christmas side, even though this guy, he hated Christmas. But um, what a great ending to that movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you haven't seen it, dude, what are you waiting for? But anyway, I'm the type of guy, though. Well, it's pretty normal. I'll only watch Halloween movies during the Halloween season, Christmas during the Christmas season. I'll only play sports games when the season's going on in real life. Here comes an undead walker. Wow, I can't wait to see this zombie. But, um, like, say, for example, MLB The Show. Once the baseball playoffs are done, I won't play baseball. Maybe unless if it's a live stream. But once the NHL season, the NBA season starts, I start playing NHL, EA, NHL, and... Um, NBA 2K and the thing is with uh, UFC boxing and wrestling there's no off season so you kind of play that game all year round but let me know if you're that type of person I've always been like that even growing up but anyway let's see what's gonna happen here wow that uh that zombie the undead walker oh my gosh imagine going to a Halloween party and seeing a guy like that Oh my goodness, I would run for the fields, brother. Run for the fields, that's for sure. Wow, just throwing around creep show and throwing around Frosty. Frosty's got to be careful. And now he's picking up Frosty. Oh, you're breaking my heart. How about the elf? Wow. On Snow Miser, but then he turned right into the creep show. Wow, and got a spine buster. And how about this? I want to see uh, the undead walker. Going up against Jason. And Jason's trying to get closer to him, but... Oh, nice job by the Elf. Using some Taekwondo skills, but now... <laughs> oh, man. Frosty going right after the Elf. And now Frosty trying to go after Snow Miser. No way. But Billy the Puppet. Oh. And another Spine Buster. But then he gets run over by Creepshow. Holy smokes. Now we're seeing the guys that have been here for a while really slow down, man. Frosty is just slowing things down. He's tired, brother. He is tired. And he's taking his sweet time. It's a smart move on Frosty's part. He needs a magic dust to wake him up. There is a magic dust. He's up. And Billy the Puppet not wasting any time. Going right after him. Oh, a nice little spinning kick to the midsection. But then Creepshow goes right after him. Wow, what a job by the crew of competitors here in this ring. There are no eliminations. Oh, no! Snow Miser's done. And now we're going to see the ticker in the bottom left-hand corner start in just a moment. Oh, no, no, no. Frosty, don't do that to the elf, brother. Did you hear about elf on the shelf? No. Don't do it. Oh, he's staying in there momentarily. He's staying in there momentarily. Oh. Wait, was that the Grinch? Oh, now the Grinch is done. Oh, man. Look at those sideburns. Those sideburns are epic. And now the elf. Oh, I'm telling you. Team Halloween here. They're heating up at the right time. And the elf. Oh. Look at the elf. Oh, what athleticism. To flip around like that and then to go for a DDT. That's impressive stuff, brother. That's impressive stuff. And now the elf. Will Ferrell. Oh, it misses all. That was a pretty lame kick there by the elf. Buddy the elf. Oh, he's still in there. And we got three giants in here. 
Look at these giants. <laughs> Come on, Elf. Do it, brother. Eliminate Jason. No way. Here we go. Scrooge. Oh, Scrooge. The Scrooge novel was pretty cool, man. That's an old novel. But the Scrooge story is great. Look at him. <laughs> His PJs going right after the elf. And the elf not liking him. Stop being, you know the old saying, stop being a Scrooge. It's based on that guy. Being a Debbie Downer, negative Nancy. Killing the vibes. Well, let's see. The Scrooge, the ending of Scrooge is, is, a, is pleasant though, man. It's good. Michael Myers at 28. So we only have two more entries. And this thing is done. The big man Myers getting a favorable number here. So who is left? Who is left, man? I don't know. Just got to wait and see. But right now, that undead walker is stunned, but nobody notices it. And even Creepshow. Creepshow stunned. Scrooge is... Look at this. It's the night before Christmas, man. This guy's falling asleep. But oh no, are we going to see two possible eliminations? Oh no, Billy is done. As we've got Frosty hanging on for dear life. Frosty is not done. Wow, way to go, Frosty. Man, it's incredible what this snowman has done so far. As now, Frosty looking. Is he going to get it here? Oh, this would be huge. If he could eliminate Myers, this would be great stuff. Oh, no. Scrooge messing with the elf. Get a possible elimination. Oh, nice job by Myers. It's going to take a lot to eliminate Myers here. Myers, this guy is one tough customer. Oh, I like that matchup. Jason and Michael Myers. Momentarily locking horns, but maybe Jason was like, just get out of my way, brother. I got respect for you. No. Oh. But then he's giving him some shots. Some shots to the top of the head. Okay, who's left? Who is left here? Three, two, one. Santa! <laughs> the big man at 29. Santa coming in. Let's see what he could do. Could he eliminate all this evil inside this ring? Oh, there goes the undead walker. And Santa Claus trying to eliminate Creepshow. Santa's trying. Don't rip the old pants, brother. Santa came in. Oh, couldn't do it. Oh, and he shrubs off Scrooge and shoves off Creepshow. I'm loving Santa Claus here, man. He's coming in with a purpose. You got it. You can't be naughty. You got to be nice. As now, Creepshow. Oh, three guys collide right there. Three guys collide. Is now Frosty battling it out with Scrooge. So we have one more entry. One more entry, and this is it, man. No more entries. Now, who is left? Who is left at this point? Here we go. Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise at 30. No way. Big man Penny. And this version of Pennywise isn't like eight feet tall. Remember the old Pennywise? He was massive. And right away, what's this? No way. No way. Jason. Saying stop clowning around. You're done. What a shocker. Jason. I'm telling you, that's incredible stuff. How about Scrooge working on, <laughs> working on Santa? This is some wild stuff that we're seeing here. Now, we've got... How about this, eh? we got three Halloween guys and four Christmas guys. This is a good way to end things off. But I can't believe Pennywise, who's a 93-94 overall in this game, came in and got bounced out by one of his people, you know? Unbelievable. Nice clothesline there by Myers. On Creepshow. I feel like Creepshow, he's been in there for quite some time. Hey, eh, brother? He's been in there forever. Look at this. Oh. 
Oh, oh. As Team Halloween going against each other. And now, are we going to see the elf? Wow, I'm telling you, Jason's got that choke slam. Oh, man, choke slam elimination. There goes the elf. The elf has fallen off the shelf. And now J Jason's caught serious fire here. So now it's basically three on three. No, no. Don't do this to Santa. No. Somebody save Santa. Save Santa. No. No. Creep show. Holy smokes. I'm telling you, this is... Uh, this is a rumble, not for the nice guys. No, now you're going to just totally break my heart. Oh, Frosty's still in there. Oh, Frosty's taking on three against one. Into the corner. Oh, nice hip toss there by Myers. Very, very nice technical wrestling there by Myers. But, um, oh, it's kind of a shame that we couldn't see Santa Claus at least get to the final. You know? But that's how it is, man. We do these rumbles. It's one and done. There are no scripts. That's what makes it fun. Yes, that rhymes. But um, that's what I love about these rumbles. Hope you guys are still enjoying it. We're all the way into season eight. Could this be the last season, man? We we don't know. Could be, brother. It could be. Just got to enjoy it while it lasts. But, yeah, man, it may be the last season. We'll see. Every, every season we always say it may be the last season. But could it be time to say Sayonara? Oh, nice neck breaker there by Scrooge. And Creepshow. It's been in there forever. How about Scrooge? No, no, no. Don't do it to him. What are we going to do here? As Frosty. Frosty's doing a lot of watching here. Oh, nice job by Frosty. I like what he was doing. But see, Creepshow's so big. Uh-oh, no. No, no, no. Save him. Save him. Frosty's not trying to save him. Oh, oh, a little too late. A little too late. And now look at Team Halloween. Are they ready to eliminate the... Oh, no, no. Frosty, hang on, brother. Hang on. I can't believe... Oh, he's still in it. He's still in it. What a job right here that we're seeing. The effort is through the roof. Now we're down to the final three. <laughs> we are down to the final three. Here we go. Now Frosty with a little bit of momentum. Oh, oh I don't know if he's got that strength in him. Creep shows just too big. Oh, at least he's got him over the ropes. Kick him off, brother. Oh, no. Fighting back is Creep Show. So we've got here, as you can see, Frosty the Snowman, Jason and creep show as now Jason thing is with Jason and creep show they got that choke slam elimination that Frosty's got to be careful with and he's trying his heart out brother all these guys giving it their all double axe handle but creep keeps on getting up oh nice clothesline Nice, oh, a nice little flip right there. And now, Frosty, is he going to get a finisher here? Oh. Oh, is he going to get it? Spinning him around. Down. Now, the only thing is, oh, big boot. Creepshow deciding not to go after Jason. Oh, no. Is he going to choke slab up? Oh, luckily he's still in there. Luckily, he's still in there. What a performance here by Frosty. Is he getting stretched out? And now Jason and Creepshow. Here we go. To the corner. Oh, nice counter elbow. As we are going to see. Oh, oh, nice suplex. Wow, he looked like he was kind of struggling to get him over that shoulder. He was struggling. As now this three-way... Oh, he slammed him right down. This three-way is just going back and forth. And now to the corner. Jason could be in some trouble. As I'm telling you, this is like... Oh, he's flipped him over. One of the longest rumbles we've seen in a while, eh? Here we go, the finals. 
Creep Show and Frosty. Frosty's got to come to his senses. He could, he could ambush him here. Come on, he missed. Oh, <laughs> no way. No way. No way, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. He's got him hoisted up. But he, I don't think he's got the strength. He's too big. Again, same time. Same thing like last time. Frosty. Oh, Frosty doesn't get it. And he'll tweak the knee there. And now, oh boy. Oh, getting slammed right down. Frosty could be done. Oh no. Oh, big headbutt. Honestly, Creepshow, if he wanted to, he could have had a decent shot at getting that elimination. Oh, is it done? No. Frosty showing that fight. And a headlock and a punch. And a shot to the middle of the back. And right to the spine. Double axe handle. But Creepshow keeps on getting up. Frosty staying on him. Now he's lifting him up. Again. Smart move. Right to the eyes there. And to the back. But Creepshow. He just won't stay down. This specimen just won't stay down. Now. Frosty. Oh, he went the long way. Oh, nice job. Again, staying on him. Oh, he's going for it. If he can land this. This is huge. Does he get it? Down. Oh, my goodness. Nice job. I love what Frosty's doing. Not wasting any time. And he's going to the corner. Oh, it's not good. He should have gone. Man, he should have gone to the, to the side. Because I don't think he's got that strength, that upper body strength to take him out. Does he get it? Oh, I think he, he wasted way too much time trying to get him up. And now he's exhausted. Overdoing it. Oh, whoa. What a counter. What a counter that was by Frosty. Man, that was incredible. That was incredible. Now he's going with the old street fight action. Just with punches. And Creepshow is on empty here. Oh, but he counters him. And now, no. Frosty had the momentum. Was he going to do it? Oh. Wow, doesn't go for the elimination. Could that come back to bite him? Oh, and another headbutt. And now, he's, oh, I thought he was going to, oh, oh, drives that elbow. I thought he was going to do the earthquake splash. And Frosty's got nothing left. He's stunned. I think it's done. But Frosty, oh, back body drop. He's still inside this ring. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Could he reverse it? Is he going to reverse it? Oh, he does not. Oh, it does not reverse it here. Holy smokes. What a final. It's one of the best finals we've seen. Oh, no. I think Frosty's done. And now Creepshow motioning to the fans saying, I got it, baby. I got it now. Oh, no. Is it done? He's got a counter here. Oh, but Creepshow was buffering. What was going on there? Creep Joe's buffering. They're both buffering. What, are we frozen? Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, now he's... Oh, no, now he's in trouble again. Holy smokes, he just... Frosty just can't catch a break. And is he going to get eliminated? Is it going to be Creep Show? But Frosty has a never-say-die attitude. Holy cow, this is, this is nuts, man. This is absolutely nuts. Oh, going right after the neck. And does Frosty have a little bit of life here? What kind of route was that by Frosty? I think, oh, Frosty's been hit too many times in the head. He's been hit way too many times in the head. I think it could be done here. Oh, Frosty. No, it's creep show. This unbelievable Halloween specimen has done it. Man, shoutouts to Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> but this guy, Creepshow, has done it. Oh my gosh, loving this zombie Halloween Big Show Creepshow theme. And he's punches Tick of the Champions Rumble. Big shoutouts to Frosty. What a final. I'm ending off this video. It's way too long. It's Ricky J. See you next time. Take care.